Dear learner, in this video we will learn how to draw a chart using a software draw.io. So let us start. Now type draw.io in the address bar of the browser. It will direct us to the website. We can click on storage on device then create new. So here we see a number of graph and charts are available. So to get the software, click on get desktop. So here the software has been downloaded. You can install it usually just by clicking over it. I have already installed. So the icon will look like this and just double click on this icon. It will open the software. Now click on create diagram. So what we see the same graph what we have seen on the web page is available over here. So just we can click and we can see a number of charts and graphs are already, already available. We can click we can select any of them and edit. So various type of graphs are well there. So let us uh, select Ben and click on create. So it will be imported to the software where we can edit it we can edit just by clicking over any text we can make them bold italic underline or even we can increase the font size as well we can rotate the text as well we can make them bold and justifying is also possible here Font color can also be changed like this. We can select any color from there. And if you want to change the color of any of these circle, we can just select the color. It will change. So now we can save this just go to file and there is a many options over there go to export as and we are exporting this file as pdf i'm saving this on desktop Let it the name be diagram one. Save it over there. So just close and we can open the file and see the graph, the fixture has been saved. This chart, this is called also Venn diagram. So now let us open a new tab in the software now we will take a blank sheet and we will design a flow chart and flow chart is uh, about finding the biggest of two numbers and the kind of shape we want we can just click over it and or drag them from left panel to the working seat you can adjust the shape and size as well we can align them and also control z is the, an option 
to undo the things what we have done so far this is just for information and if you want to delete just select and press delete so i am just aligning all these things before writing any text over there size and alignment is very important so all done now now i will type star in all shape and then in parallelogram input a and b In diamond shape region is A is greater than B. So it is all done. Now we can join them. by means of arrow to create the arrow just click on the boxes and we will see at the four all four side bottom and up left and right there will be appearing arrow sign so we can drag in the direction which we want an arrow So all have been joined. Now we will give color to the boxes and text. We can change the style as well. Uh, we can give the color to the boxes just by clicking on the color we want just we see it's a simple matter of just select the box and just click on the color what we want we can change also the arrow style its width as well as its style in this way we can change every arrow we can choose different different colors for different arrows So now all done we can save the graph now go to the file and then export as I'm exporting as PDF there is no selection so selection is not highlighting we don't need crop here so let's go again to export as the PDF and then export and then save this file I'm saving on desktop with the name diagram free So let's see 
how the graph is appearing let us open a new tab and a blank file now i will explain how we can type mathematics symbols in this software so usually we can type the method we use in LaTeX. LaTeX is a software is used for mathematical type setting. Usually in mathematics and computer science. So, as a, if we are typing alpha or beta, whatever, it is not appearing there because we have not selected mathematical typing. So we need to activate. To activate that, we need to go to extras and then check mathematical type setting so what we typed we typed here beta so beta is appearing now again if you want alpha so just in line text we can type backslash alpha within the parenthesis followed and preceded by a backslash so here we have alpha and beta. Suppose we need a lengthy expression. We can type it in any box or otherwise in, in this space at every place. There is absolutely no problem. So let us type alpha a square plus b square equals to say square. So backslash small bracket start then a exponentiation 2 plus b exponentiation 2 equals to c so there was a mistake so i am correcting it c square c exponentiation 2 so this is all all we done 